o'clock, more scams are popping up and you are losing money. Last year, South Carolinians lost almost $50 million to scammers, but there are ways to spot them and stop them. It seems like police departments are warning of a scam each and every day. Fox Carolina's Brooklyn Cromer tells us what you need to know. Have you ever gotten a text message from a number that looks legit, but you're not sure who it's from? The Federal Trade Commission says they're red flags to look out for because it could be a scammer. They prey on anybody. I mean, they'll prey on millennials, seniors. I mean, anybody that they think that they can get to get the money or get their personal information to use. Scammers can be from any company, but the FTC says Amazon is a favorite among con artists. A text message circulating claims to be from the e-commerce company, telling the recipient to verify their account or it will be terminated. They want you to click on that link. You're not sure what it's gonna, where it's going to take you or what it's going to do. V. Daniel with the Better Business Bureau says it's bogus. They're using the name of Amazon to make it look real. It's not the only scam you need to watch out for. <laughs> Did your TV or Internet company call and offer to lower your monthly bill? The FTC is getting swarmed with reports about scammers telling consumers to pay with gift cards to cut their bill. What they want you to do is, yeah, if you do pay or if you go get the gift cards and call and then call them and they want you to scratch the, you know, scratch the little sticky stuff off the back of it and give them the number and then they bleed their gift card right. What should you do if you've fallen victim to a scam? You would go to the three credit reporting companies, actually get a report to see if, you know, if somebody has stole your identity. You should regularly check your bank and credit card statements and report scams to the FTC. We have that information and how you can find your free credit report over at foxcarolina.com. Brooklyn Cromer, Fox Carolina News.